It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and today's show... It's brought to you by Squarespace. From Damn websites right. and online stores, the marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the motherfucking show. Mm. Uh, Herman is here. Big Wax. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Taylor is here with a new hairdo. She got the African silk press. Okay. Called. You know what What's I mean? That? They don't do Dominican blowouts no more from it's what called, I was it's told. It's called a doobie. Nah, they no, don't do those no more. It's silk press. African yeah. silk presses. Can you explain they don't, they not what doing the Dominican African thing no more. silk press is to us whites it's that just don't know a, what that is? <laughs> it's just I get a wash, deep condition, and then how they straighten it out. Can I see it? Can you go into the camera? Like go the near where Charla and uh, Wax so... are? Because I can't see They can't see? Oh, I'm so happy Taylor's not on camera. Thank God. Can we do something <laughs> about see. our microphone too? Let me see. Oh, you got Look white girl that. hair. Oh, okay. No, she, got, she, got, she got a... She got a uh, <laughs> that's a you don't got to go with all that. Hey, bro. You don't, don't got to do all that. You don't got to do all that. Are you saying it's a European African silk, silk press? press? No, don't do that. It's a European silk don't press? Yeah, just, <laughs> you got the white girl hair. It's all good. We get cornrows sometimes, too. It's all good. Yeah. Let's share Hilarious. culture. Let's yeah, I'm share culture. I'm glad you moved that foot, bro. <laughs> that foot was in 3D when we first started a two couple seconds. I'm so glad you moved that foot, bro. Yo, you so Miami now, bro. Yeah, he's done. What'd I do? <laughs> your foot, the, the way your foot was positioned when we first started, yeah. that shit looked like it was in 3D. Like, that shit was, like, just coming at us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was, man. Yes, wait till you watch it back. <laughs> where, where was it? Like, was it in front of this camera or that one? The one day it was, it was like <laughs> that. I almost got you again, but It huh? was just all toes like this, Damn right. Bro. And I was showing you my fucked up foot. I didn't even show you my nice foot. My right foot is where my toes are cute. What you mean? You got to get surgery or something? I got to get surgery on my whole body, bro. I'm falling apart. My Achilles breaking. My fucking <laughs> bunions is poking out on my left foot. I got one right foot that's decent, and the rest of me is just falling apart, bro. I just heard somebody get their feet done. Somebody just got their feet done. I you said L'Oreal. Don't say you, know, you like... said it. You talking about somebody. He told us it was L'Oreal. Oh, yeah, I got her feet Look to L'Oreal. I love L'Oreal. What do you mean she I got her know. feet done? She got her bunions removed? Oh, my God. I don't know how that happens. That's what I was asking earlier. I said, how do you get your feet done? I got a, do I got a doctor in Jersey to do that for me. I get my corn shaved off my... Right pinky toe once a month. Nah, I need, I need like a clockwork. Whole new Not foot, once a month, bro. once a year. I'm sorry. I need a whole <laughs> new <laughs> foot. This shit right here, bro, this one right here, I need a new foot, bro. They need a Caitlyn Jenner. Why does it look like that? Don't it, it look, look big so as hell? Big. It does look I should look like Jay-Z face in the sunshine video. <laughs> so like, that, shit is just, that shit look like Jay-Z face in the sunshine video, bro. It's just I, like there. Listen, I'm not familiar with that video, look, but look, I agree look, with you. Look, look, yeah. look. Hey, Charlamagne. You keep yes, making sir. fun of me. I'll walk right off this podcast, Charlamagne. Don't you <laughs> dare. Don't you, you dare. Do? Don't you <laughs> dare. First of all, Shul, Shul. I know you I know you never would because you're not a sensitive comedian. Can we talk about that? Like, listen. Shul, yeah. Charlamagne, I will leave this podcast. <laughs> Wrap this shit up. <laughs> Wrap it up, Charlamagne. Should we, should we play what we're talking about before we even talk about oh. it? Should we just add it right here? This shit came oh. on my radar, bro. And I started <laughs> dying laughing at how Charlemagne was going to react to it. <laughs> like, I wasn't even laughing at what was happening. I was laughing at how Charlemagne was going to react. Because Charlemagne loves bombing. That motherfucker yes, loves when people bomb. Yes, yes. I do. And uh, he's a petty love, motherfucker. And I love seeing Donnell Rollins react so sensitive to life. Oh, yeah. Donnell is a uniquely tender individual. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And 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 me, right? I'm a consumer of comedy. I love comics. Mm -hmm. I I got mad comedian friends, but I'm just oh, a guys. I'm a consumer of comedy. Mm -hmm. I never knew how sensitive comedians were, but I think that's what gives y'all y'all edge in a lot of ways, right? Like yeah. that's why y'all are able to create the things that y'all create. But Donnell Rollins is uniquely, uniquely sensitive for the fact that he loves to dish it. But as you can see, are here <laughs> in this video, he can't take uh, it. What podcast uh, is this, Schultz? Yo, this is my boy, uh, Tony Hinchcliffe's podcast and live show is called Kill Tony. It's an amazing show. So it's a big show. podcast. They do, it's a great podcast. They do it around the world. It's absolutely oh. amazing. What they do is they have amateur comedians 
come on and perform. They'll do a minute of material and then they'll have a professional comedian, you know, like Donnell Rawlings and obviously uh, Tony and Brian Redman and then a band as well. It's with them. And then they all kind of talk to the comic about their set. They also make fun of the comic. And then they also have these guys that are just there. Like they'll do a set, but they're also really good at roasting. And so, so uh, you're telling me this is a huge podcast. So give me a roundabout number of how many people who oh. saw Donnell Rollins bomb. I don't know. It's only like now it's views, now it's certainly going to be way more now that we've brought it up. But uh, <laughs> but but uh, but I don't know exactly in that moment. They were doing it live in Austin. And uh, but Donnell's been on it before. He's been on a podcast well, before. He knows what it is. You know what? I'm approaching this wrong. First of all. Let me send healing energy to Donnell Rollins. Yes, I you know that. what I'm saying. I, like I want to send that. healing energy to Donnell today. Um, I want to send him healing energy, and I would simply tell Donnell what I always tell Donnell: mm. stop being so sensitive. Not even from a comic <laughs> standpoint, right? Mm -hmm. You can't ever win any war being this emotional. Mm. You just can't. This guy who did that to Donnell, he deserves a sitcom. <laughs> I think he should get a sitcom I think he should get a whole sitcom yes. Because Donnell if, if, Based off what you just told me show, Donnell should have been prepared for this right yeah. Yo He's Donnell is a legend Like He's Donnell's funny day. as fuck And I don't know what happened In this situation because it, 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 let's say Donnell's sensitive or he's not sensitive on stage or in front of people. That's a bad motherfucker. So it's shocking to yeah. see this type of reaction. I feel like there might be something else going on here. We're not really familiar no. with. No, yeah. I think that people got certain skill sets. Donnell is a brilliant stand-up comic. Uh -huh. mm. He's a brilliant stand-up comic. I get he, it. He, he, He's, he's, he steals a lot of my content on Instagram. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he'll post videos. You know, I post videos with me, my face on stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then he'll take it and yeah. like tag bearded humor and all kind of stuff, even though that's, it's, I'm the one creating that content. Yeah. Right. But this just might not be his forte. Like somebody like Capone, you ain't catching Capone with his pants down when it comes to some back and forth Yo, roasting on stage. You know what I think yeah. it was? I think it was the, the joke about, the necklace, the Chappelle's name on the necklace, whatever. You can't nah, wear you can't wear another man that's alive around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you can't. Like, you just can't, nah, bro. Like, I'm I, sorry. I think, I think the body one got him more, though. The I body know, one got him more. I know how grateful one. I'm sure everybody on the, in that team is of Chappelle and like what you know, the opportunities he's given everybody there, but like you can't you lose automatically in any roast battle when you got another man that's alive on your neck. Like, the dude said something that didn't even make sense. He goes, did you hit those Jordans before or after Chappelle's Chappelle name is on change. your neck? By the way, like, let me, no, by the way, Schultz, what you're saying is tro so true because that joke wasn't, it wasn't even a joke, was no right? joke. But it was the true. fact that he called him out on having a Chappelle chain, which is something people probably whisper behind Donnell's back. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Exposed. fact that he brought that up on that stage lets me know people are having that conversation behind Donnell's back. Like, yo, why this dude walking around with a Chappelle yo, if, chain If on? Chappelle died, that's a yeah, fire respect. chain. But he's yeah, alive. Respect. Yeah. You can't <laughs> have <laughs> another <laughs> man that's alive on your neck. Kind of wild. It's let me play, wild. Let me play yeah. white devil's advocate. Okay. What's wrong with giving people their flowers while they're here? Yeah. Give them flowers. Give them flowers, bro. Don't put. Give them flowers, flowers bro. Buy them a mill. <laughs> I'm not putting your face, Charlamagne, face on my shit. It is like, something to that, though. I get it. Like, it's something to that. Because, like, when I think about, you know, Cash Money, Rockefeller, Rough Riders, their companies ideas. weren't named after anybody. They were big. They were bigger than them. Exa this you know is an idea. It's a philosophy. And then when people die, they turn into ideas and philosophies, right? Like right now, you got a rich broke chain from Lil Duval. Rich yeah. broke is a philosophy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. not wearing Lil Duval around your neck. Now, if Lil yeah. Duval dies, maybe you could make a nice little chain about out of it. But as long as he's still kicking, it's weird. But what about like like I, I would wear a little Duval shirt, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if it was a shirt with his face on it that said "Smile, bitch." Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Good. I would yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could wear a shirt. It's smile. something about a chain that's different, bro. About a chain. You know, like, is, it a man, is it because it's jewelry? I don't know. Mm. It's, I don't know. It's just weird for some reason. Why is it weird? Like a that's shirt makes total it. sense. We literally buy basketball players jerseys, but I'm not uh -huh. walking around with a fucking Luka Doncic chain. <laughs> <laughs> so you saying if Chappelle's, if Chappelle had a company, right? Like if it's just to say it was 
half baked productions or I don't fucking know. It's one of his famous skits. Uh, I don't fucking know. Yeah, she laughed. Yeah, it was something with like something like, like that. If it was yeah. a a company and it was, instead of his name, it would be different. I, yeah, company yeah. or like an ideology. Yeah. Like Rockefeller Records. Like it, I don't know. For me at least, it always seemed like it stood for something. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's so like, yeah, we're building this from the ground up. This is us. Uh -huh. You know. So and, Team uh, Chappelle don't work. Say what? So you can't be Team Chappelle? No, you are Team Chappelle to the fullest and you ride for him. I'm sure there's tons of pride being part of that because you see what this guy's accomplished and you've been able to be part of and help accomplish all those things. But I can't see the chain. Yo, put a different <laughs> pendant on it, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. What actually is the chain? It's, 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 it's the Chappelle. It's the C for Chappelle. Oh, I Yo, if oh, Michael so Jordan mm -hmm. gave me a chain... And it and it just was Michael Jordan M. on it or, or M. Thanks, bro. Appreciate nah, it. Nah, you lying. I nah, put it at bro. the house. I'm not if, wearing an M right here. If, for yo, Michael if he Jordan. gave if Michael gave you the chain of the Jumpman logo, you'd wear that, bro. Son, the how how are we gonna how are we gonna hang out, me and Mike, and like look like homies when I'm got his fucking name on my chest, bro? <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, yeah. We're for a game. Just, We're for a game. I see what you're saying. We're for you know a game. what I mean? I mean like. How are we yeah. gonna be boys? Like you think that they were wearing Jesus pieces while Jesus was still alive? No, that motherfucker was walking <laughs> on water and shit. That motherfucker walked on water, turned water into wine. He did everything no, cool with water, and he was like, "Yo, y'all want to wear my my piece, whatever?" They're like, "Fuck out of here, Jesus! We're not gonna wear your piece." Yo. Then he died, <laughs> came back to life, and then they were like, Fine. "No, Schultz, no, no, yeah. no, no, you revising history. I they know. ain't even do it then." They wore the murder weapon first. <laughs> the cross. <Yeah. laughs> they, didn't even, they didn't even give Jesus his respect Lord until mercy. much, much. It was our generation that said, no, we doing this wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> our generation said, no, we doing this wrong. It ain't about the, the cross. It's about the actual Jesus head. But that's, about that's just because it's so much easier to put diamonds in the face and the crown. Then just Taylor, to put Taylor, diamonds on the on the cross itself, but yo Taylor but, about to prove your point. Go ahead, Taylor, because I see what you got pulled saying, up on the computer. Because Drake has uh, tattoos of different people on him. He has forty on him. That's his producer, Aaliyah. I don't know who the other guy is. Look like his father. He has a mustache. But yeah, but he's another guy right there. So what does that mean to you? He can do that because he's more prominent than them. It shows humility. It shows gratitude. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like he's showing love to people that he knows are beneath him in like their, you know, not higher. Beneath, but I see what you're saying. Oh, I, not beneath him, I but I get what you're saying. Yeah. But but what, what if and Darnell got deceased. money off that? What if Darnell got money off that C or he was involved with Who is that Darnell? Day? Darnell is the guy that beat me up in Black Privilege. Who's Darnell? Darnell Rollins. <laughs> oh, Darnell, Darnell Rollins. Okay. Oh, he has yeah. Lil Wayne on him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's wild. But yeah. If um, with Darnell got some money, the reason why they got that chain, he was like, "Yo, this is a, a pay of that chain or something like that." I don't even know what you just said. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, I, I don't think Drake having Lil Wayne is weird. Lil like, Wayne put him on. Nah, Drake. Yeah, Drake got Drake got the yeah, owl right. So he gives wild. everybody the owl chain if you're part of the crew, I imagine, or something. But that's because that's bigger than Drake. Exactly, is what I'm saying. Like, yes. Like, there's uh -huh. something to be said. Like, I don't understand when people name like companies after themselves and then they want people to embrace those companies like people may not fuck with you uh -huh. <laughs> you know no, what I'm who's saying? wax no for real who's wax like, up. Mm, this nigga might not fuck with me like I yeah. know it's people that don't fuck with me uh -huh. but, that's, but, but that's why I don't name no company the Charlemagne the God whatever you know what I mean I, uh -huh. I, I want it to be smart. bigger I think than my name smart. Yeah, yeah, I think that's oh, oh. smart. I mean, I did name my shit Schultz Studios, so here I am being Hippocrates but again. That's but that's different. Like, it's different, yeah, though, because you record out of your studio, yeah. and the content that comes out of your studio is people that's down with your team. It's just a it's right. just a studio. It's not a lifestyle you're trying to get people it, to exactly. buy into. Like, our brand is not called Schultz Studios. Exactly. Schultz Studios yeah. just happens to be the name of a fucking production company that we're putting together so we can put out these specials, et cetera. I'm not making everybody be like, hey, get a Schultz Studios tattoo, do all that kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, just yeah. need a fucking name for IRS stuff. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, like I, my, my production company is called See the God World. You know what I'm saying? But once again, that's oh, my production company. Exactly. Like it's just, you won't even notice that unless you pay attention to credits at the end of a show and you see that pop up. You know what I mean? Yo, and Taylor. like you said, it's for, it's for fucking tax uh -huh. purposes. I need a, you got to name your LLC something. Taylor, would you, yo, so I would feel mad uncomfortable. I'm gonna be honest with you right now, buying Alex a uh, Andrew Schultz chain, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, that's son, that, that would feel weird, bro. That's it's wild. Just, yeah, that's wild. Isn't that weird? 
No, I get what you're saying. I mean, I never yeah. thought, I honestly never thought about it until, I, we, first of all, we got to get his brother his respect. What's his name, first of all? The comedian that, you yeah. know, gave Donnell a bad day. What's his name? <laughs> huh? the what's, the, yeah. what's the comedian's name that gave Donnell a bad day? I saw it in the caption. Roasted by Open Micer. What's that? Allo oh, Mean? Uh, Allo Mean. Allo Mean? <laughs> yeah, Allo Mean. I, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. Uh, I didn't even notice the thing about the chain until Allo Mean said it. And I was like, why? What was the problem with the chain? But now I understand. Yeah. That's why I'm telling you, Allo Mean bought that up because people have been having this conversation. Yeah. I it's, never thought it's about just it. It's weird. It's so weird. Is it only because it's a guy? What the if it was your woman that wanted. Yeah, hey, girl, that's what I'm saying. So you're you to could do it for person. your girl. Your like, girl. you, yeah. your girl can wear your name, but just like a random girl that works for you, I don't know, bro. There's only one thing I wish that this video would have had. They cut too fast from Donnell's jokes. Like, they should have let it breathe so we could see the, the non-reaction from the crowd. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, when he makes the jokes, like, I want to see people not laughing. You know what I mean? That that, that would have been really, really good. And I'm going to tell you what else was bad. When Donnell started acting like this dude was clout chasing. Yeah. Based off what you just told me, Schultz, this is what this show is. By, by the way, if I was a comic, I would always be prepared when I'm on stage with another comic. Bro. Another comic may try you. Bro, notice. I didn't notice. There's a, kid, there's a kid that goes on this show all the time. His name is David Lucas. He's a comic. He's very funny. And um, he is nice with the roast. Like, I'm talking about nice and not yeah, I, I planned it. it before. You know how there's certain guys that like plan it for before. They write like these things. I'm talking about he could do that, but also in the moment, he's good. And I didn't know that this was a part of the show. I did it in L.A. So uh -huh. he finishes his set. We're talking <laughs> and he starts coming at me. And I'm like, hold on. Hold on now. <laughs> well, so you good what? off the top, though, Schultz. Say what? You a beast off the top. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, don't let now. the chain clutch. I'm, don't let I'm the shot clutch to fool easy. you. Your boy got a couple of the canister. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. I don't. To, I don't. I had to fuck you up. Why? No, but we, we went at it. We went at it a little shit. bit. We went back and forth, and it was fun, and it was good, but I didn't know that that was part of the show because that was my first time doing it. I, I was obviously familiar with the show, but I didn't know that that was a specific component, and he was, he was good at it. So Donnell knows what he's getting into. <laughs> yeah, but even if you don't got no jokes, this is a textbook example of how not to react to a roasting. Yeah, you just you're laugh, a comedian bro, like and you're a top tier comedian. You're one of the funniest dudes on stage, and you let this guy get under your skin. Donnell tried to first of all, Donnell told everybody he was leaving. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's when you really don't want to go. Yeah. You just want the sympathy. Like, nah, you want people to be like, no, Don, come do on. That. It's okay, Donnell. Stay. <laughs> and then he sat down and tried to rap twice, and nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> I kind of did that with the one time, though. What? Like, on my birthday part of my birthday, it we had a, birthday. Uh, a like a show. roast on um, Bully and the Beast. And the dude, they had the guy roasting me, but I ain't know. Nobody told me this shit. <laughs> so the dude was like, "Oh, wax you this and that." Like, I beat the shit out of you. I don't know what oh, the fuck are you talking about. He won't be like wax. It's a joke. Like I don't give a fuck about. No, I can't do that shit. I can't think about looking at a man and care about what the fuck you got going on enough to even say nothing about you. That's not you. But you I just want to beat you up. Not the way you wear your pants, bro. The way you wear your pants. Saying, I can beat your person up. You though, so it don't matter. You 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 you, uh, you you present with crotch. No, I don't. <laughs> Look. I, I do this. I know what I'm doing. I told my girl I was going to do this now. You should stop wearing wow. them yoga pants. I'm glad you You're didn't not wear the yoga, yoga pants. Man, what are you talking about? Right, we need to get we need to get a line of wax yoga pants. <laughs> <laughs> that shit would rip. You know what would rip? Literally rip. I was telling literally, uh, literally this earlier. You know how women have all of these things that enhance their body. Like you got like apple bottom jeans and push up bras. Yeah. Like what about guys who wear gray sweatpants but they don't have no print? Oh. If we create gray sweatpants that come with like a some type of device print. in the front to show like you got a print, yeah. come on, yeah. man. That shit will kill, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That shit will kill. You know how many guys will want to get that? Yeah, you got to do cheating, that, bro. Though. I mean, they, they've been doing that with socks and stuff for years, though. So, like, we got What do you mean with socks? People put socks in their meat. I don't want that. What? I don't want that. They I want stuff the their underwear with socks so that nah, their meat looks that. bigger. Yeah. But that's Blue stupid. Because then you're going to gonna disappoint the person that exactly. you tricked with the socks. Turn the lights off and have a, and have a, a, a She's going to feel it different. 
That sock thing don't work. I want hang time and girth. That's what you want. When you stand up in some great sweatpants, you want to be that guy that you just take a picture and then people start circling it and passing it around on the gram and be like, yo, do you see that meat? Yeah. That's what you really All want. All you got to do is play with, your, play with your meat a little bit. Put your hand in your pocket and play with it. Yeah, stop yeah. shaking wax hand in public, yo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's in my pants, though. I mean, nah, I don't do it no more. He's right. There is a time where, like, your dick is kind of hard, but it's still facing down. You oh, know yeah, what the I'm chumps. saying? Yeah. And if you take the picture the right before excitement. it flips up, it looks big, but it hasn't flipped up yet. So I think that is the perfect time to take a picture. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's about, like, 10 rubs, and you should get that. Um, we we talking about these sweatpants, bro. Apple Bottoms made a killing. I'm gonna come out with goddamn EPS. What does that stand for? <laughs> eggplant sweats. Egg Instead plant. of Apple Bottom oh, jeans, yeah. eggplant egg, sweats. Eggplant is one word, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> e <laughs> is it? Yeah. Do you yeah. have any parting words for Donnell? Give, give him some advice, Schultz. Oh, stop it. I can't give Donnell advice. That motherfucker's a legend. I love Donnell. I just think it's funny because you guys have this adorable little like fake beef <laughs> Well, if Donnell is a legend, media. then Aloe Mean is a legend killer. <laughs> <laughs> you lead it in, bro. <laughs> I'm going listen, I'm gonna post that video later with my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna yeah. post that video. But do you have any jokes my, though? You know what? Let me tell Sim to do that right now. This podcast don't come out to tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 <laughs> Donnell ain't get no jokes. He ain't get no jokes off. I ain't hear no jokes getting off. Maybe he, he, he did. Maybe he was That's editing. It. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, they said the bra thing. He said he had a titty. He's like, you want to suck this titty though? <laughs> <laughs> Hit him right back. <laughs> Take that back. I'm gonna put thing, my you face. You can't make fat jokes about fat people. They've heard them all. They, heard and they got the comebacks ready. It's like I remember once we were doing hip hop squares and they were trying to go at Duval for being short or something like that. And it was like, oh, no. bad move. Oh, please. Yeah. First of move. all, if I'm if I'm a fat guy, yes, I enjoy getting my titty sucked. <laughs> like, yes, who the fuck? Like, you never when a girl kisses on your chest, it feels good. So I know it feels good when you got some titties. Mm hmm. Come on, I, I, ask a fat dude if they like getting their titties up. That Come is on, man. Wild. They actually got nipples and all that shit for real. They're yeah. sexy, right? No, it ain't sexy. I'm just saying, what the fuck is wrong with you? They do. I just seen. I just seen some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's sexy, right? Hell no. Listen, shot, salute to Paul Pierce. You know what yeah. I mean? Do you think Paul Pierce should have been fired, Schultz? No. Nah. Talk for to me. What? I mean, like, what are you firing him for? Are you firing him for like COVID safety? You can't fire someone for liking hoes. Really? Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, if I'm that's, sure that's the case. Contract. If that's the case, then stop broadcasting all the games in the NBA. Cheerleaders. What do you think yeah, they do? What do you but, think but James you, Harden is up to every weekend? But that's Oops. my point, right? Like you, um, like I don't think anything was wrong with what Paul Pierce was doing. I don't agree with how he did it. Like, you know you work for ESPN Disney. Yeah. So unless you don't give a fuck anymore, yeah. don't broadcast your shit online, bro. You're 43 years old. Like, who gives a fuck what you're doing at the house? Oh, yes. I don't think right. he should have gotten fired, but I also completely understand that he did. Like, the mouse yeah, yeah. doesn't play games, way. right? The mouse yeah. doesn't want you to act a certain way. And Paul Pierce knows that, but Paul Pierce is also independently wealthy. He don't need that little check he's getting from Disney. So he's doing that because he's bored. But maybe he needed stability. Think about it. When you're a retired ball player and you're used to a certain routine, a certain schedule, maybe he likes the stability of having some place to go yeah. every day or during the season. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Maybe it makes him feel, maybe it just gives him a sense of stability. I don't know. Yeah, if you, you don't use it, you lose it. He's going to lose his life if you don't do something. There, there's a couple, I, I feel a way about ESPN Disney a little bit too because I just don't like these like, these standards of perfection they try to hold people to. Like, there's mm. nothing Paul Pierce is doing in this video that's illegal. Yeah. Weed is legal in California, right? Yep. So he's smoking his weed. Yep. He's, he's having some drinks. He's 43 years old, clearly of age. They playing a little poker, and they at somebody's house. He they got smashing. Clearly, they got some well-compensated women there, right? That's, yeah. They're dancing, and I'm sure they're getting paid. They could the be their wives. You said what? They could be their wives. You don't know who right. they are. Uh -uh. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It sounds good. Yeah, because he even said in the video, I'm not married. Because somebody said to him in the video, yo, you married. And he was like, I'm not married. Whatever, whatever. My only thing is like, yo, you 43 years old, Paul. Like, who are you trying to impress? Like, you think that <clears throat> you think that we don't get fucked up and drunk and have a good time and talk shit? 
Yeah. When ain't nobody going on Instagram live for what? We grown. Yeah. That's kid shit. Like, don't act like a kid. That's all I'm grown. saying. He's <clears throat> what do you think it was? Why do you think he did that? I've been asking around to like my, you know, people in the league and shit, and I haven't gotten an answer about it. So it's kind of odd. He probably just broke up with a girl for a long time. He needed some fun. Uh, he been married for 10 years. Yeah, probably just, that, that, that's, that's just a, a man that just broke up with somebody. That's all that is. That's interesting. He He's just trying yeah. to flex a little bit, let her it know. Seems, he seem like it. That. it do seem like I'm it. trying to make you jealous. I'm trying to make you jealous. I'm trying to make you uh -huh. mad. Like, look at Paul Dude, this having be a good time. my life right now. Mm. Yeah. I don't need you. I can have fun without you. He just, he just too old to be YOLOing at 43, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to drop the L-O and just be yo. And yo stand for you old, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, like, just, and it's fine. Just relax. Like, like who got time? Yeah. Like, this is, that's the, that's my only issue with this. I'm not mad at nothing Paul was doing yeah. in this video. It's just the way that he did it. Like, he must really not give a fuck but about ESPN Disney no more. You think it's no the more. girls or the weed? I think it's a combination of both. I think he just, ha he got caught up in the moment, yo. See, somebody said Paul said fuck marriage. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, but ESPN, a lot of these places have to change their policies, man. It's the same thing in politics, right? Like, people aren't perfect. And by the way, this is not being, this is not imperfect. This mm. is just a regular Saturday night. Yeah, that's, that's, not in the, that's not in the fucking contract, little girl. Do you think it has to do with COVID or it has to do with being around naked women? ESPN put out a statement and said... Somebody said, no black girls. <laughs> NBA, no blacks allowed. ESPN said, they put a statement out and said that... Um, it wasn't the fact what he was doing. It's the fact that he posted it. Uh, they was like, if somebody else had recorded it and posted it, they wouldn't be tripping. But it's the fact that he personally yeah. posted it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's the difference, but yeah, I just think it was lame, bro. Like, I just thought yeah, it was like, yo, you grown. Friends, like, show your friends. Yeah, man. nobody need to see all that. You 43. Like, what you broadcasting that shit for at this age, man? That's it. a good it. hairline though, at 43. Great yeah. hairline for 43 years old. Okay, question. Great hairline. What if... They were at a pool instead of inside a house, and it was during the day. Okay. Oh, so you think it's you think it's because they feel like they he, they weren't following COVID protocols? Nobody had on a mask and all that type of stuff. I think that I think the real they issue is that there were like strippers there. But okay. I wonder if there these were just girls at a pool party in Vegas, and he was just on his yeah. phone going, "Yo, it's crazy out here." I wonder if that's more understandable. But but the fact that it's inside a house and it's clearly strippers. Now if, that's a fire. What if all fence. the scrippers are vaccinated? They what? What if all the scrippers are vaccinated? What if everybody in that house is vaccinated? Yeah, that's a good ass point. Have you gotten hey. your vaccine yet? Nah, I ain't fucking with it, bro. Because you're black, bro. Black people don't do vaccines. No, it's you know what's so crazy? <laughs> Actually, white people, if, when it comes to COVID, white people and Latinos um, are more against getting the vaccine than black people. Nah, nah, nah. nah. No, that's a fact. It's, it's a statistical bro, every fact. Every black person up. I ask at a comedy show tells me they're not getting it. <laughs> every yeah. single one, bro. Well, ask yo, me, bro. ask me. Yo, yo, yo fuck Wax, you getting it? Hell no. Yo, fuck science, yo. These fucking crowdsourcing at the comedy shows, that's where it's at, bro. <laughs> fuck with the, <laughs> the CDC talking about, bro. These hezzy comedy shows. Are you getting yeah. it? I'm not, well, listen, I'm not, I'm not an anti-vaxxer exactly. by any means. No, exactly. I'm not an anti-vaxxer by any means, but I'm seeing some strange shit personally, yeah. bro. I'm seeing so like, yeah. like I got people that's real close to me that's getting that, somebody got Bell's palsy. What's that shit called? Uh, Balls uh, palsy, whatever Bell's that shit. Bell's palsy, yeah. Bill, Something, Bill and, but they told him it was temporary. I'm like, temporary? Yeah. And then... My niece got uh, was in a coma for a couple of days. Wax From niece what? is in a coma. Yeah, she was From for what? the fucking shot. The I'm second probably, shot. One of my people, other people, had to get rushed to the hospital Stop thinking that. that they had a heart attack. You she wasn't in a coma. Shit? Your niece yes. was in a coma from the yes. vaccine. There's no 48 way. hours. They, they had to put a tube in her fucking throat. This shit ain't no joke, bro. This shit, she, nothing was wrong with my niece. And Johnson and Johnson just did a recall. No, why they, they recall? What are all the people that they gave before they recalled? They're like, what the <clears> fuck? They recalled what? They, what about their vaccine? vaccine? What about Moderna? What about Moderna? I don't even know who that is. That's <laughs> the other vaccine. What the fuck Moderna. did she even do? Oh, I'm about to say, I ain't let her do the Because they either. got Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, and Moderna. Moderna was in the front row at the Kill Tony show, bro. She was the only person laughing at Donnell because she was black, so she was showing support. <laughs> okay. That's Definitely a black is. lady name that cooked pancakes. <laughs> Moderna. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not against it, but I'm just listening to the advice of doctors around me, everybody from my foot doctor to 
you know, white people who gave me COVID tests early on when we first started getting back in these streets, they was just like, yo, whatever they put out in the spring and summer, just wait. Just wait. You know what I mean? It was just like, yo, wait at least a year. It's fall, wait until like next year, fall. Maybe. That's will. what they all said to me. And they, they, they was just like, unless it's a dire situation, just wait until like next fall. Don't and get either. vaccinated, yo. Don't listen to this medical misinformation, bro. You got him. He, he, he must have did it. Are you vaccinated? Nah, I already had it, bro. Come on. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> the chicken pox. I had the chicken pox before. Boy, I do got a theory, here. though. I do got a theory about the vaccine. Okay, what is it? If COVID, if they're put, if they're putting something in your body that's supposed to give you like, I guess the the, the sensation of COVID, right? Because mm-hmm. it's not real COVID they're putting in your body. It's like some artificial shit. Mind you, this is the brilliant this podcast. We're just this is how we talk, we right. right? So it's some shit that like makes your body feel like you have COVID, right? Mm-hmm. So I think just like some people react differently to the actual COVID virus. Some people get it and don't have any symptoms. Some people get it, they get real sick. Some people get it and it's fatal. I think it's the same thing with the vaccine. Mm. Yeah, but they're killing people then. The fuck? I, I saw something the CDC said like 1,500 people have passed, but they don't know if it's actually because of the vaccine yet. They're still doing research. Yeah, but you I just, just give say- it to old people and at-risk people. They could die anyway. Yeah, I get it, but that's that's speeding their process up of dying. Like, I know so and many wax people that have had young. it, bro. Yeah, so she's many like 23 people. years old. I Jeez. think I've had it too. I think I had it last January. No, I'm yeah. talking about the vaccine. Huh? I'm saying they've got what the vaccine. Huh? Why do y'all? Why do people keep saying, "Oh, I think I had it last year"? What happened to pneumonia, the common cold, the flu? Like, why is you, it? You, just know how, you know how many people? You know how many people pneumonia kills? I know. Oh. I've had pneumonia before. Yeah, you pneumonia. You sure. Yeah, I've had pneumonia when I was in seventh grade. Wow! Did you almost die? I felt like it. Yeah, pneumonia ain't no yeah, joke. Ain't no joke. Eesh. I don't wish I. Would. I don't even know what pneumonia is, man. I'll be honest with yo, you. Yo, pneumonia you is no it, joke. That shit yo. is a fucking blow your brain up. And they use that shit to clean That's floors. That's ammonia. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, if you smell that right there, it's the exact same thing. Imagine like sniffing it all day long. That's pneumonia. <laughs> Isn't that an ammonia? I thought that was an Italian song. That's ammonia. Which song is that? Oh, Amore. Oh, okay, okay. Do, do what? We have three mids. Oh, shit. Taylor said we got to do some mids because we got a bunch of them this week. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. All right, let's take a break and pay some bills. Let's go. Cushy Dreams. Salute to Cushy Dreams. Thank you for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots podcast. Uh, to, the world today is nuts, man. And just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable. And that's why our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high quality smokable CBD. And CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief, and so much more. Smoking CBD Gets it into your system right away so you don't have to wait long for the effects. Cushy Dreams Extraordinary CBD Rich Hemp Flower comes in eighth ounce cans and pre-rolled joints. It is cannabis that ships discreetly to you and directly to all 50 states, okay? They offer indigo and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, Hustle, peace, energy, and dream. Whether you want to smoke beautiful bud or pre-rolls, Cushy Dreams has you covered. Their popular pre-roll joints are rolled in organic hemp paper and feature an even slow burn. And pre-rolls are now available in five packs. With Cushy Dreams, experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower, full spectrum, and full flavor. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. And now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high. Go to CushyDreams.com. That's K-U-S-H-Y dreams.com. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order and your first order, okay? And your second order. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off today. Schultz, you want to tell them what else we got? Who else is sponsoring this show? Yeah, I do, man. You know who else is sponsoring this show? Taylor, who the fuck else sponsoring the show? (laughs) 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 Hold on, I got it. Hey! I'll tell you who else is sponsoring the show. Al, can you pass me that can right there? Liquid Death. I'm telling hey. you, it's the best drinking water you ever had in your life. They got the sparkling and they got the no sparkling. What do they call that? Just regular spring water. It's right next to that Campari. But goddamn, I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. 
comes in a can. If you're one of those people you feel embarrassed not drinking at the bar, not drinking at the cookout, not drinking at the barbecue, you get one mm. of these right here. People think it's a beer. They think it's alcohol. Nobody's asking you if you're on antibiotics because you got chlamydia or some shit, and that's why you can't drink. You are having a delicious can of water. It's a can of water, so it's much better for the environment if that's something you care about. You can go watch uh, Sea Spiracy if you want to know how bad plastics are. But uh, I'm telling you, it's an absolutely delicious can of water. The nice thing about water in the can also is the second you crack it, you actually finish it. Okay. So, guys, this is what you're going to do. You're going to get two free koozies with your first order of any case of water at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Just hit up their merch store, add the koozie two-pack you want, and you'll get it free with your first case. Only at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. I'm telling you, just get the water delivered right to your door. Why are you going to the store and buying cases, dragging them all over the place? Get them delivered right to you. Enjoy. Now, let's get back to the show. Let's get back to the show. Do you have any church announcements, Andrew Schultz? Yes, I do have some church announcements. And uh, we got some shows, man. Second leg of the tour is officially out and for sale right now. We sold out the first leg before we even left. So I would advise you guys to go get those tickets right now. Those shows are selling out as we speak. TheAndrewSchultz.com. I'm going to tell you some cities real quick. Virginia Beach. Okay, Orlando, Florida. St. Louis, Missouri. San Antonio, Texas. Oklahoma City. Denver, and Omaha, go get those, go get those, go get those. Thank you guys so much uh, for coming out to the shows. Um, last I love y'all ground Atlanta. game, man. I love, I love, I love you and Little Duval's ground game. That's what I. That's what I call comedy shows. That's a ground game. The ground game. Yeah, no. That's the bad. reason I say that is because I think about like <clears throat> I think about Kevin, Kevin Hart when like when Kevin exploded, right? Like 10, 11 years ago, whenever it was, and. After Soul Plane didn't work and the, the the sitcom he had, he just went back on the road and he, mm -hmm. he like implemented that ground game, mm -hmm. yo, which is the basics. And he built up such a crazy ass fan base and following. And I think that's one thing that people don't understand about comedians. Like, yo, it's a ready made audience. Yeah. That's why it makes so much sense to invest in comedians. Like it makes too much sense to invest in a Duval, a Schultz. 85 South Shore, sure, Just Hilarious. Yeah. They on the ground. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It That's why you can't show up on certain podcasts and let these open micers embarrass you because it <laughs> might fuck up your ground game. Like, don't <laughs> stick to the run game. Don't go passing the fucking ball if the run game is what got you winning. I not a dunk. Yeah, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How we switch sports that fast? Listen, my church announcements... Um. As always, make sure you pre-order Tamika Mallory's book, State of Emergency, How to yo, Win in the Country yo, We Built. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. It'll be out May 11th. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo. But you can pre-order now. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Okay? You, you know damn well she hasn't even started writing a book. Okay? It's not, it's, it's, you know, you know advanced copies well, around, baby. She nope. hasn't started writing this book. Okay, nope. she hasn't even put pen to paper yet. You've yes, been promoting this book, trying to bully her into writing a book. Maybe she don't want to write a book. Okay, Charlotte, maybe, maybe the she don't want to write. Advanced copies are out. She's gotten great. She's getting great reviews all over the place. It's a great read. So salute to Tamika. So it's um, already done. Oh yeah, it's done. So then release it. May 11th. <laughs> next month. Next month. May, May 11th. Oh, man, you've been promoting Everybody this. Everybody go back. You've been promoting this book since the first episode of Brilliant Idiots, okay? I hey, remember man. on Star Shame Enterprise at one point in time you said, by the way, Tamika Malley got a book coming out in 17 years. I'd like to start promoting it. <laughs> and you started sharing it. Now, this oh. might be the most highly anticipated book in history, bro. It's up there. It's up there with the Bible. And then um, Anita <laughs> Kopax, she'll be out August 3rd with Shallow Waters. You can pre-order that Will now, she? all courtesy. Will she, though? August 3rd. August 3rd. Will that's how she? We got the advanced copies of that, that too. That's that's. that's Charlamagne that's always up. got some shit that's six years away that he could promote because come May, when we already have Tamika Mallory, he needs something else to get that's us That's right, baby. The road. It doesn't stop. Black Privilege Publishing. And thank you to everybody who uh, has been downloading We've Got Answers on Audible. 
You know what I'm saying? We've got answers to the project I put out on Audible last Wednesday. Uh, we told you about it last week for for white people who are afraid to ask certain questions. James Altucher did a great job. And, you know, it's a great conversation. So make sure you check that out. We've got answers on Audible. It's free with an Audible membership. Wax, you got some church announcements? Yes, sir. I got, um, I'll be Thursday to Sunday, TK Kirkland shows. Um, we got like nine shows. I'm Doing sponsor, what? Who's Wax sponsoring? Who's Wax sponsoring TK Kirkland shows in Philly this weekend? Oh, they in Philly? Philly from Thursday. TK got to nine shows? Nine shows over at Helium out there. So Who's Wax to be sponsoring out there? I had my drinks and stuff out there. Y'all come out there and I'm support. Nine shows is nuts. Yeah. Could you do nine shows in the weekend shows? Man, I've been doing five. It's three a night. Uh, or three on a Saturday and then two on a Friday. And uh, it's yeah, a it's lot. I think nine it's is a lot. Thursday. It's from Thursday to Sunday. That's Thursday to it. Sunday. So two, four. It was three one night and yeah, then like three, two I think night? two nights is three. And then uh, one thing, Thursday is one. And then it got a couple. So y'all just come out there. Who's Wax going to be out there? going to have enough product, merch, and all that type of stuff. You know, definitely listen to the Bully uh, and the Beast every week. Okay. We have a live show coming up. Definitely. Y'all doing a live show. Where? He did. He'll let you know a lot. Um, We have one coming up in Brooklyn and then... You're not really selling this. Hmm. You're not making me. You're I'm not making not, it sound I'm like I, we need to be there. Yeah, I'm saying, it. listen, we'll, we'll get all the details. See, y'all, we got a live show coming up really soon, man. Y'all come out. You know, it's going to have all that good stuff out there. So. Oh, I have something that I have to talk to you guys about. An, an announcement. A big announcement. Let's go. The number one song in America. <laughs> we just finished shooting a music video for the number one song in America. Okay. Open her up. Time to open the country up. So we had to, you know, expedite that process by putting out a country banger. And um, I think it's going to be coming out next Thursday. Okay. Myself, the boys, the flagrancy featuring Jelly Roll. Man, we got a Who fucking is Jelly banger. Roll. Say what? Who is Jelly Roll? Oh, dude, Jelly Roll. Great artist, man. Rapper, singer, like amazing out of Nashville. Is that the guy Just that fell in the pool? Amazing character. Say what? Is that the guy who fell in the pool? <laughs> what do you mean? I seen on your Instagram a guy f- tried to oh, get Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was Jelly. Yeah, that makes jelly. sense. It makes sense. Is he yeah. fat? Yes. Say what? Is he fat? No, he's a skinny guy named Jelly Roll. <laughs> like, no, no, man. Is this guy? That's why I said it makes sense. I see it. I know, I know, I know girls that were fit named Jelly. They call themselves Jelly because jam don't shake like this, or is it the other way around? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Jelly don't shake like that. <laughs> no, it I know, must be jam. I, I know a young lady named Jelly. She she from Columbia. Salute to Jelly. Uh, from the, anyway, uh, open her up. Go. <laughs> It's not out just yet, but when that shit is out, let's blow this motherfucker up. I'm talking about biggest song in the it? country. Say what? You ain't fucking with Lil Nas X. Are you so. rapping? Yo, 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 yo. Lil so Nas got the number one song no, no, in the country. Let me tell bro. you what we're going to do. We're going to bring some Christianity back to the airwaves. That's what we're going to do. We're going to bring some God-fearing Christianity back to the airwaves with a beautiful country song about opening a country up called Ooh. Opener Ice. Nice. Look at his nice. I'm, yo, Lil, Lil, we was talking about Lil Nas X, man. I'm glad he got the number one song in the country this week because, man, if you show your cheeks, bro, and you don't hit that number one, man, it's yeah, just like, lot. where do you go from there? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you show the cheeks and you give Satan nobody, a lap dance. Nobody can't tell you a line in the song, though. I, I can't, but that don't mean it's, the other people can't. I keep telling y'all, the world is a big place, man. Just because I may not be into it doesn't mean that millions of others aren't. Clearly, they are. That's a good song. What is? How does it what go, the song? Give me, give me some. How does it go, Taylor? Want. Show me what you need. Oh, call go. me what you want. Call me Show what me you need. Show me all the cheeks. That's not how it goes. <laughs> <That's not how laughs> what is what you want? Crack Show open me your all cheeks. cheeks. Crack open your cheeks. Yo, I got a sketch idea that's so funny, man. Talk to me. No, I don't want to say it because I, I actually want to do it. I want to do it and then let somebody tell me, no, I can't do it, and then just release it anyway. <laughs> but I'll tell you after the show. What I just, is it? What is it? It's based on Jeopardy, but it's, it's, I'm going to tell you after the show. I don't want to give it away. I really don't. It's a really, I really don't want to wow. give it away. Do you want to just idea. tell us and then we can cut it? What I want to do is, right, I want to get one of my gay homies to be a contestant on Jeopardy. Okay. And the category is Richards. Okay. Right? <laughs> and so they're asking you about all these famous dicks. So they'd be like, your vice president, 
because he was the vice president in George W. Bush's administration. He was like, Dick Cheney, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, this movie starred Warren Beatty and Holly Berry. Dick Tracy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's what you thought of? <laughs> this, this sporting goods store is, uh, you know, a very dope sporting goods store. Dicks? I don't know. <laughs> is that it? That's, I mean, it's, <laughs> that's what you it's something there. That's yo. why you throw it against the wall and then people flesh it out. Yo, it's something yo, there, bro. Yo, yo, Donnell, don't get angry, bro. Just, just <laughs> sometimes, 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 don't be so upset. It's okay. Sometimes, it's not gonna be yo. your day, bro. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I'm yes, leaving. Yeah, yeah, gotta go. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I, hate I knew you were struggling with, when you said this. I know you were something. Uh, it's a yeah. it's a sporting goods store that's a, a really dope sporting goods store. He thought that was the best one. It's an idea, though. You can't tell me that idea wouldn't rip, bro. I mean, it's dick because they answered every one. And that's what's funny about but it. But you need to have some sort of flip on it. Yeah, man. Then the, the, last, the, the last one needs to be like, what's the tastiest, most delicious thing? That's coochie, cool. coochie. <laughs> that's the whole point. That's the point, Schultz. Like that's what I need. That's why you throw things against the wall. And you flesh it out. Yeah. What's something you, know what you really mean? like, but society won't allow you to like it? <laughs> or what's the best diet in the world? You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm going to the bathroom. I hate, <laughs> I hate when niggas trying to play me, son. I don't know if he ever came back. Did he ever come back? I show? think he's still walking. <laughs> I think he's still walking. He went somewhere. He went, he went to no, pawn that chain, bro. He went, oh, that chain he went never back on. Pawn store. <laughs> never put that chain back on. <laughs> what can I get for this? <laughs> Yo, Donna, don't let nobody chain shame you, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's cool that you know you <laughs> repping up. your brother. You know what I mean? I really do. Salute to, sh salute to Chappelle. Bro. Yo, yo, Look, Wax, you gonna wear yeah. a Charlemagne the God chain, bro? I would never give him a Charlemagne yeah, chain. Why not? It's like, that's wild. just stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> it's kind of yeah, wild. Like, why am I doing it's, that? I'm not, I'm not mad at Chappelle for doing it, but it's kind of like, eh. It's so yeah. stupid. I got yeah. the and, hottest. And you appreciate that man so much for everything that he's done and everything that he stands for. So you can't really say no. So you got to begrudgingly put the chain on. <laughs> nah, I mean, if you put it on, like I said earlier, they probably made money off that brand or that company or something like that. He, he don't mind representing that. But the mm. C says for comedy, C for comedy, instead of saying C for Chappelle. Yeah, you, you can't you, it up. you can't have a guy saying, you know, I got the ashiest comic in the game wearing my chain. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can't, you can't, like, like, that shit can easily, if they ever have a falling out, bro, that shit can go left. You could change bad. it up. You know how many people get in relationships and they sit there have to change the girl? Like, oh, that's my daughter, man. Or well, they got to cover it up. No, nigga, that ain't, that ain't Chappelle. No. That's comedy, nigga. I'm a comic. C. Shout out to Dave. I'm not mad at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not even mad at Donnell for wearing it, but yeah. I can see where the jokes... He made a lot of money. I can see where the jokes write themselves. The jokes are going to come, bro. Alomeen wasn't playing with you. Like, that was literally... I've never seen somebody... Well, I guess I have. I've seen some... I've never seen... I've seen somebody win a fight off jabbing because of points. Never seen somebody get a knockout off jabs, bro. Just straight jabs. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> bro, it made no sense made to the right joke. Up. He literally was like... Yeah, that's why you went to Whole Foods after Chappelle gave you a chain. It was like, what? <laughs> but once again, it's all about the chain. And, and we're going we gonna to keep saying this over and over because yeah. if Donnell's listening, I want him to hear this. Clearly, this is a conversation people have been having about you, bro, bro. when it comes to that chain. I remember when I was Back going out for that B. show, Wildin' Out. Remember Wildin' Out? Peace. I was going out for that show, Wildin' oh, Out. And, and Nick had given his team chains for Incredible. Right, I guess his company is called Incredible. Yeah, that's dope though. That's peace. well, exactly. Incredible. I guess there's the Nick there, but also yeah. it's a little bit. It's one derivative away, so it's fine. But it's just a chain with an N on it, right? So for Nick, I thought it was for Nick Cannon. I didn't know it was for Incredible. I thought it was just Nick uh -huh. Cannon chain. 
And it was one of the guys that works for him. I forget his name, but like it was that game where they got to have water in their mouth and like, you know, spit out the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, water yeah, yeah. if you make them laugh. And you just got to say like what they're thinking. And um, forget, I forget. And I think the joke was something to the extent of like, uh, you know, one day, one day when I grow up, I'm going to have a, a chain with my own name on it or something like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I said that and I said that and that guy and that guy spit out the fucking water because he knew. Yep. Because he Damn. knew. Yeah, he's talking about this shit. Damn. Right. I just think, when, yeah, I just think when you have a company, man, like if, you, if you're establishing a company, name it something that's, you know, bigger than you. Even, I mean, Wax got who's Wax, but that's yeah. still a brand. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Wax like, isn't his real name. Is. It's, yeah, and that I don't is, even know that who that true? is, so I don't give a fuck. Who is what? That? Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is that motherfucker? Like, that's why I have, I have Black Privilege Publishing. I have Black Effect Podcast Network, even me and Kev's company, S SBH at Audible. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not naming no fucking... Eh. Yo, what if, weird. what if to celebrate your company that you and Kev uh, made together, Kev got you a chain with his name on it? No. Okay. <laughs> K is... <laughs> K is wild. That's what I'm saying. That C is for Q. K is wild. K is what you might as well say when somebody when a man gives you a chain. K. K. <laughs> Do you accept this gift? K. K. Every gift begins with K. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you gotta strong. find excuses. Be like, nah, this is too nice to wear. I gotta like hang this somewhere. You know what I mean? This is this is art. You know, souvenir <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> for real. Salute to Donnell. I love you, Donnell. Okay. Um, Hubert we Davis, love you, you, Donnell. I know you and Charlemagne yeah. got beef, but we got love for you. Yeah, let me cool, tell you something. Brother. I have absolutely, positively no beef with Donnell Rollins. Well, he got beef Donnell, with you. Donnell. Donnell. Donnell <laughs> triggers. My inner child from seventh to eighth grade who simply likes to fuck with people Yikes. because I know it fucks with them. Well, Darnell, you're in trouble. That's it. That's <laughs> I got, I got, I got, and he's so easy to fuck with. I got the ashiest comedian <laughs> game where my so, he's so <laughs> listen. Darnell is so easy to fuck with, and he knows that he is sensitive. He'll admit he's sensitive when it's just me and him alone. He'll admit he's sensitive, but he's just so easy to fuck with. I just want Darnell to stop stealing my content, bro. Like when I post videos. You know what I'm saying? With my face all like, let me stop lying. Because I really want people to know that, that I do this. Because I've said this before. Donnell makes those videos about me and nothing brings me more joy than to take those videos and take his name out. And he thinks he's <laughs> slick because he thinks I don't watch the whole video. So now he'll just insert himself in the middle. I cut that too. Like, he had this whole long thing at the end of one with his Instagram in the picture. I cut that too. And there's nothing that brings me more joy other than this video I saw today from you on Kill Tony that is watching Donnell in my comments Mad as a motherfucker <laughs> swinging. Like, oh, yeah, I'm Where sending you an invoice later. He always <laughs> says that. I love it. It is amazing. And Donnell, when you see what I do to this Kill Tony video, I've sent it to three graphic guys because I need it back ASAP. <laughs> Whoever sends it back to me first is who's getting the cash app. And if all three of them send it back to me, whether it's Justin, whether it's Nick, whether it's Sim, I'm paying them all. Cause I need to post that video today of me on Aloe Mean's face. No, <laughs> disrupting no. your whole life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. One thing about them goddamn tables, what do they do? Turn. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I love it. Y'all just gotta be patient, man. Just be pa if you're patient. On your lap. That's it. Yeah. You yeah. ain't gotta do nothing. Life will do it every time. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Trust me, Donnell is somewhere right now hoping I don't see that video. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah. praying, he's praying right now. Please don't let Charlamagne it's see smart, that it's video. It's a smart thing to do if he put it out first and then put the and just try to yeah. Himself. He should do that. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't give a fuck what he does. I'm still. I hope it. <laughs> I hope he puts it out first so I can steal it and take his name out of it, out of it and not have to pay my own graphic people. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Now, did you see Hubert Davis, Schultz? Yes. Actually, let me use the bathroom real quick, and then we're going to talk about that for All right. sure. All right. Let's take a break from the show right now and salute Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging and publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of, okay? Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. 
And you get to know your audience with their analytics tools, okay? Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on site, audience geography, and more. It's all so simple, too. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SES tools are paramount. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain that's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase now let's get back to the show all right um hubert davis you saw hubert schultz so hubert davis is going to be the uh first black coach for the north carolina tar heels in history yes okay. yes um the- i mean that's great did you see his press conference, though? No. What did he say? Taylor, you have to insert this. You should actually... Hold on. I'm going to pull it up for you, Shows. I want to see if you catch it. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if you catch it. Let me see if I can find this. He should have announced that shit with Paul Pierce. He should have announced it with Paul Pierce? Man, where the fuck is the video? Oh, I got it. Hold on. I saw somebody post it. Here you go. Listen to this. Just listen, listen, listen. Hold on. Significant that... I'm African American and I'm the head coach here. Significant. I know that in terms of Division I head coaches all around the country, only 26% of the head coaches for Division I men's basketball are compromised by minorities, specifically African Americans. I know that it is significant that I'm fourth. African-American head coach in any sport in the history of the University of North Carolina. I'm very proud to be African-American. But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. <laughs> I'm very proud that my three beautiful, unbelievable kids are combination. It. It's significant that... What? Good job. Why? Yeah. Yo, like, yo, let him be proud, yo. <laughs> hey, I, feel the, I feel the same way, but I just want to know why. Yeah, who I did was Yo, that. Why was, he's that proud, was so bro. random. He, he, he set out <laughs> to accomplish a dream of his. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's like that's like my realtor telling me not to like that's kind of wow. What was bro, Martin man. Luther King's dream, bro? That white kids and black kids would be playing in the playground. Well, every time his kid goes play in the playground, that's exactly what happens. They're white wow. and black kids playing. Okay. That shit. I just, I'm and not mad at it. I, I got a bunch of, you know, people was, that was laughing at it and mad. At it. I'm like, I didn't think it's anything wrong with it, but it's just like, why? Yo, he's proud that his wife is white, bro. Like, <laughs> his, his, his PR told him to do that. Somebody put him up to that. A lot Yo. of y'all took the easy way out marrying black women, bro. He Yo, went out and got a white you wife. The fuck? Okay, bro, y'all took the Hold easy on. way out, bro. No, you don't see, know a lot the, of... the, the the struggle that Hubert has gone through with his white wife. He's proud of her whiteness. No, listen, I this is so fun. I agree with you. You know, uh, Wax and Taylor are offended for no reason. I'm gonna tell you why. It is hard for black people, black men with white wives. It's hard, bro. It is. <laughs> bro, it's in a no world of Doctor Umas, it's, it's a hard <laughs> world out <I> there. <laughs> But it's on both sides because white uh, white men see you with uh, a white woman, they look at you like, oh, "What the fuck is going on?" Yeah, that and can also black happen. Black see you bro. with a white woman. Oh That's right. Lord, you in trouble. That's right. Hubert That's Davis right. got a chain that his wife gave him that says "White Wife." <laughs> <laughs> and he's probably like, "You gotta go." He's soon as pro- soon, soon as Hubert said that, somebody was like, "All right, wrap it up." Yeah, I, 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 want, I want to be hid. I want to be hid certain places. Like I don't know, you go somewhere. And you see like a bunch of black women. Do you like run and go act like you gotta go to the bathroom or something? Or you walk past them and and get all them eyes and them looks and all that type of shit. Yo, it's wild. I don't know what you're talking about. Me neither. I don't Uh, know what you're talking about. It happened to me before. That's what I'm talking through. So when you was with your white girl? I wasn't wasn't like that, but they thought I was with her. They thought I was with her and I was with all type of looks and all type of crazy, man. Okay, regardless, we was walking together and that happened. Wax. Wax you? needs to stop yeah, denying his white so woman. White guys, Yo, white guys was worse. Wax got so shamed for being with that white woman. What are you talking about? He broke up with her and he took a step 
Right? He, he took a step <laughs> in the color direction. He didn't go all the way. <laughs> he, went to, he stopped at brown. But he, 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 when he took a step in the direction, he did. <laughs> I love when you start talking about this. Hubert, why you have to have a fucking white wife, bro? <laughs> Yo, don't put it on him. Don't put it's all it on Hubert's fault. I'm not mad at him for having a white wife. I just want to know why randomly did he just insert it in his press conference? Like, it's you went from being proud to, to being the head coach in North Carolina to being proud to having a white wife? Like, huh? Bro, there's a she documentary. A there's a documentary <laughs> on Hulu called Hubert and Herman and their non-black wives. <laughs> and... <laughs> And I'm telling you, y'all gotta see this documentary. It's, just, it's truly amazing. Starring Cupid and Herman and their non white wives. A love black story. Wives. <laughs> a not really... black and their not black wives. A love story. It's a love story. It's not love. He's wife, proud black. of her, bro. Yo, I'm proud. He, why black, can't white, you black? be proud of, of your wife's whiteness, bro? She, like, Afro, she Afro Latino, right? I guess, yeah, I guess. That's what you're supposed to call that it. That doesn't mean... She Afro-Latino no, no, no. until someone asks her if she's black, and then she's like, no, 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 I'm Puerto Rican. Let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, oh. Schultz, let me tell you something. Actually, Carla, I don't know Listen. if that's how you feel, so I can't, I can't uh, Carla put is words black. in your mouth. Yeah, I mean, you I, know how you I know Carla black? Hollywood, Let her yeah. pull up to any house in New Jersey with wax and try to get one. Yeah. Get the one realtor what? reminds both of them. Exactly who we are, <laughs> okay. for sure. That with the baby and all. The baby too dark now. Oh, really? Yeah. Shout out to Hubert Davis, though, man. Yo, we Hubert Davis, the, he's really a legend, bro, for having the for having the balls to come out and just but why? be proud. What? <laughs> I this, just want to know why. This PR probably was doing too much. Charlamagne. Maybe you should say this. Charlamagne, are you proud of your black wife, bro? Oh, um, incredibly. But I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it, I, I don't even know. I guess it is something to be, no, it is something to be proud of, but not for the reasons that because she's a black woman, but because of the black family structure. You know what I'm saying? Because we've seen the black family yeah. structure torn apart for so long. You yes. know what I mean? So when it's me and my wife and my kids, like that makes me feel good. You know what I mean? But, I, you know, I didn't do it because... I was with been my wife for 23 years. It was, just, yeah. you know what I mean? I did it because I love her. He's proud you know? of the white family structure. <laughs> I come, hey, I, he is, truthfully, I come from the era of like, I guess at one point having a white woman was a status symbol. Remember when all the ball players and everybody had white women? Kanye West said it. Mm -hmm. Kanye, yeah, when Kanye was like, he get on and leave your ass for a white girl. Yeah, we say yes. That shit is like a Richard Melee watch. That. You know what pissed me off about this Donnell video? Oh my god! No, no, because you bought it back up I and it just made me to. think of something. What? 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 <laughs> I didn't like when Donnell leaned into the dude and, and no, no, I'm not gonna say I disliked it. What I wanted to happen, when Donnell leaned into the dude who was that Tony, when he leaned into Tony yeah, and Tony. said, I hate when niggas try to play me, son. I wish Tony would have said, me too, bro. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's something Schultz would have did, though. But, but it's just like- He's like, what? <laughs> Like, what I do, what I say. You can't. You said it. And I know I let it fly here on this show, but you can't lean in and whisper to a white dude, I hate when niggas try to play me, son. You know what I mean? If you're going to say it, say it publicly for the world to hear. You know what I mean? Because it's not like you're saying it to him. But how did they know he actually said it? He had one of those mics on or something? I guess they read his lips. I don't know, well, Somebody bro. probably asked them, what did he say to you? He said what? They probably, somebody probably asked the guy, Tony, what did he say to you? He probably said, No, you can it. see it. If you watch the video, you can read his lips. They put the subtitles at the bottom. He was trying to play him, son. He was trying to play him. Nah, he was trying, trying to, play, to him. play him, son. Listen. Yeah, he definitely trying to play him, though. <laughs> also, I want to tell Lil Boosie. That was Oakum for real. Bro. bro, I can't wait till my face is on that body, bro. <laughs> that bro, I, so I have great. never. You see the drummer I, reacting, I, though? I can't tell you the you last the time I've wanted to. The drummer was leaning in. The drummer The drummer is wilding. I can't wait until I post that goddamn video, bro. Um, I got news for Lil Boosie, too. Lil Boosie, you do look like Flavor Flav, bro. A little bit. I see. It. I mean, I see a reason. No, a lot of bit. If they were like, like if Flavor Flav was a gremlin and he got wet, Boosie would absolutely pop off. You know what I'm saying? Like Lil Boosie and Flavor member. Flav look alike. Yes, man. Yeah. They could be a father and son in a sitcom. Uncle, yeah. Easily. Sure. Easily they father, could be father brother. and son in a sitcom. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> it's a red, look, it's a red. look how young look at that that's his father 
I didn't no, realize yeah. back to back to back like how they, how much they look alike. They do look alike, yeah. especially when they throw them shades on. Come on, look at the one with the red on the red shades right yeah. there, bro. Chose you sure you don't want in on this now. You could get you, <laughs> this is the one time you could say black people look alike and not get in trouble. Not true. You sure you don't Chose want in on this? Not fall for it. No comments, <laughs> show, man. No comments. <laughs> wow. Taylor, what else we got? Give me some more shit we won't care um, about next week. I guess that's the about, portion of the show we're in right now. Do you care about Kanye West getting um a thirty million allegedly? I love I love the Good fact job. that Kanye got thirty million for that documentary. Yeah. I don't know if that's Kanye though, because I saw it. Somebody was was posting something yesterday about the two, I guess, people who have been putting it together all of these years. But I think it's great. You know what I'm saying? You got 21 years of footage and, you know, it's about, it's, a, it's Kanye, right? 21 years of Kanye. That's his whole career. Kanye came out in what, 2000? Mm. I guess he started doing beats in like 2001 when we first started hearing him on Blueprint and shit like that. And now, 2000, yeah, it's damn near 20 years. It's damn near his whole career. So if that's I got right. a documentary and I'm following Kanye West... From damn near day one, hell yeah, yeah. that's worth thirty million motherfucking dollars. Are I they, love it. Yeah, are they the only people who've maintained their relationship with Kanye West for the last twenty one years? Mm, a good fucking too, question. I, I feel like they Jesus. might be. I would like to see. You know what? That's a good point, Joe. I never thought about it. I wonder if that's somebody that Kanye hired. Mm. You know, have have these people been following Kanye for twenty plus years? I've never paid attention because Kanye is the type of person. Like it's, it's cameras all around Kanye all, at all times. So yeah. it's like, you know, you wouldn't even assume that they were shooting something like a documentary. But I love it, man. I love seeing people get paid off content because mm. I know we got 10 years of Breakfast Club footage. And, you know, we've been putting together. We've been we've been playing in a documentary for a minute. The doc, we I actually wanted the documentary to come out last year on our 10 year anniversary. But being that they didn't know whether I was coming back to iHeart or not, um, <laughs> you know, they, we put a pause on that, but we back in motion now, baby. Let's go. So, I, so yeah, so I can't wait to see see what the market is for a Breakfast Club documentary. 10, 11 years of foot. We literally have been recording everything since day one of 2010, whenever the Breakfast That's Club right. started. So we got 10 years of footage. Like when, when do you I see think when do you think you guys will be back to normal with guests? I think we yeah we 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 there now you know right. what I'm saying um salute to my man Elliot Wilson uh, Elliot noticed something and because he, he was posting about it this weekend he noticed something that I was intentional about and you know that was pouring pouring back into the young artists in hip hop you know what I'm saying back in December I was like man all I want to do is like pour into the young the young rappers, you know what I'm saying? Like all the, the next generation of artists, like I want to just pour into them. And so it was a conscious decision, like, you know, and not to mention, I really like these dudes like Pooh Shiesty and Rod Wave. And we had the guy Mooski on who sings Trackstar, BRS Cash, Lil, um, TJ. Lil, Lil TJ, you know? And I mean, you got somebody like Rod Wave who got the number one album in the country. And oh. and, and I, I, I thoroughly enjoy talking to these guys because it's like, um, it's a sense of discovery. Mm. Cause I'm not in their world. Yes, you mm. know what I'm saying? Just cause you listen to somebody's music or take into their content, you're not in their world. Mm. Like these these youngins, they doing something totally different than my everyday life. Even their slang and everything is different, but it, it just makes me, it just gives me a, 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 a sense of discovery. You know what I mean? It's fun talking to these young men. Mm. You know what I mean? And and you know, I'm sure we have some some up and coming young female artists on as well too. But mm. yeah, like and and plus also too. Them little motherfuckers ain't afraid to fly. They not afraid to come in the studio. <laughs> they come in, they get COVID tested, and they sit down. Yeah. And you know, the the, the internet loves it because like these are internet babies. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Raw Wave got the number one album in the country this week. Yeah. You know, and and just being in a, you know, like he, you know, him saying he said Ed Sheeran's one of his favorite artists. You know what I mean? And 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 me being able to introduce him to Ed Sheeran, like. That's what I. That's 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 that's, so, that's what I like. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's the position I, I I play I play in the game now. But it, it was in, it's it's been intentional to like you know pour into the young the, the the next generation. It's like yo, we did ten years. You know, you end the year like last year it was the guy who ended up being president, Joe Biden. You know, and the, all the presidential candidates. And we end the year with Barack Obama. Mm. It's like yo, what do you do then? You bring it back to the basics. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? You yeah. you come you come you come right back to the basics. You come right to, back to the basics. You come back to, you know, what you truly started doing this for. Like you know, the shit, the things that you truly love. Don't get me wrong. I love talking to politicians and I love talking to you know spiritual leaders and all of that kind of stuff. But yo, there's 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 really nothing I love more than hip hop. And I really do love seeing like, I love seeing like people come up. Mm. Like it's dope. To see Raw Wave have the number one album in the country, you know what I'm saying? After after putting in the work that he's put in, and like and, and the excitement that they have for being on Breakfast Club, yo, that energizes me. Mm. You know what I mean? When Pooh Shiesty sitting next to me, and Pooh Shiesty says, "Man, my 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 mama loves you, man." You know what I'm saying? That's how I know who you are because my mama. And then you think about it, damn, Pooh Shiesty, 21. I mean, we've been on since he's been 11. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is. Same thing with Rod Wave. When Rod Wave sits down and he's like, man, I, he's like, yo, this shit crazy to be here. Like, I used to be at home, like, practicing what I would say when I came here. Like, that shit makes me appreciate the platform more. It is a, a different energy when, like, someone who's really a fan or enthusiastic about the show is on instead of, like, a politician who knows that they can use the show's influence. So they got to right. front like they watch or they listen. And it's just like, all right, this is cool. And it's amazing to go interview those people. Don't get me wrong. And like, but there's a different type of chemistry when it's an artist's first time on The Breakfast Club and they know what that means. And there's like this excitement in their eyes. They want to get you know this, this interview to crack because they've been watching the people that they looked up to in the interview. In the That's industry, right. you know, on the Breakfast yes. Club, yeah, it's a special, a special feeling, man. And when we old as fuck and been on for this will be our eleventh year, and yeah. these guys are literal, they were literally kids when we first started, and now they old and they they in the game. I love it, man. And to your point about politicians, we know that shit is transactional. You yes. know what I mean? But like I always say, if you can't be used, you're useless. So, Literally. you know, they using us. We using them. 100. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? You don't hear from them people no more. You think you hear from them when it's not an election? Uh -uh. (laughs) Uh-uh. Which is a mistake, by the way. Uh Uh-uh. They're stupid. That's why I think, this is why I think conservatives kick Democrats' ass. Because conservatives always engage their audience. Yeah. Via talk radio, right? Yeah. Via Fox News, they're always engaging their audience. Democratic motherfuckers, you don't even see them until it's election time again. Bro, Andrew Yang's guy's ghosting me right now, bro. You trying to get Yang Gang on the show? Nah, we, we, yo, you, I think you connected us. We were talking to his representative. We booked a time and then they started ghosting him. And I told Yang, I said, you can't be mayor of New York without my blessing. <laughs> okay. And I got this. And you know what, Charlemagne? I got Talk this mayor me. down here in Miami that is more than happy to do it. I got a mayor. I got the mayor down here in Miami that that locked it in first. I got the mayor in Miami who's like, "Yo, we want to keep you in Miami. We want to make sure that people like you are creating stuff down here, and it's a warm, healthy environment." Andrew Yang, a little scared to do do an interview on Flagrant Two. That's not the type of mayor I need in New York. Someone who's scared to do an interview. It's COVID. It's COVID. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit Andrew Yang. Not even COVID on Zoom. I I connected y'all. I think you did. Maybe you did. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him directly and say, "Yo, you know, you yeah, should do this show called Flavor that was Too." You know, filtering out the interviews, bro. I just want. I literally want Andrew Yang to convince me to go back to New York, and I want the Miami mayor to convince me to stay. Fight for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fight for me. How bad you want it, yo? <laughs> you you with whatever show? <laughs> Hold on, is there a mayor in Miami? Oh yeah, it gotta be. I'm so stupid. You're Miami. <laughs> You come back here, I'm you so crazy stupid. if you lead out there. I'm so stupid. I thought it was one leader of Florida. I ain't even, you know what I mean? I thought Brian Kemp run, not Brian Kemp. What's the what's his name? Governor Santos. I didn't even think no, he got to be mayor of Florida. Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis. Yeah, I'm tripping. Because Andrew, Andrew Gillum was mayor of Tallahassee. Yeah. Andrew Gillum was. was <laughs> hey, doing all a lot right. Of okay, let's see what else. Kim K's a billionaire. Again? So you can't even give Andrew's brain time to think at certain points. No, point. no, you know I know what about you gotta know what, Gillum, bro. <laughs> you know I, what you, I know you got to know when to call Gillum? a timeout. Yeah, timeout. You wrap it up. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Don't make me go to the bathroom, yo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you give a fuck about Kim K being a billionaire? No. Again. I don't give a fuck about anything Kim K does ever. You're a liar. 
I don't. As long as she you looks that take? good in pictures, I care. Outside of that, I don't care. I respect the I respect the free enterprise. I respect the fact that she, you know, built some shit that worked. Get your money, yo. I'll see Get your money. It. I'm not as long as you're getting your money in like a ethical respect. way, I'm okay. I don't know if they do it ethically. You know, I think that they put out like a very unrealistic uh, view of like what a woman's supposed to look like. And I think a lot yeah. of these other girls are having crazy emotional. Uh, that's what they're saying about Chloe. That's Trauma. You know what I mean? Like just trying to keep up, literally trying to keep up with the Kardashians. Like they, they call the show keeping up with the Kardashians because all these bitches in the world are trying to keep up with them and you can't Whoa. keep up with them. You don't got the money. And even if you did have the money, they're Photoshopping every single fucking picture that they take. So I think that's yeah. whack. But um, yeah, get your money, yo. Like, yeah, you bring up a good point. It's like you got women trying to keep up with the Kardashians, but then you got the Kardashians trying to keep up with black women. Because I think people forget Kim literally came up through black people. Mm. Like, I, yeah. I I remember when Kim used to come to Wendy Williams' show, when Wendy used to work at BLS and sit in the pink room all day with Nicole Spence. You know, mm. Nicole was Wendy's talent booker at the time. Now uh, Nicole Spence is the talent booker for the Black Effect Podcast Network. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Because we that's how we roll. But... um. Yeah, they used to come and they used to sit in the pink room and Wendy would be Wendy and be brushing her off. You know what I'm saying? Brushing oh, wow. her off, brushing her off until finally she bought her in one day to talk about organizing Paris Hilton's closets or some shit. And then when the sex tape came out, if I'm not mistaken, because if memory serves me correctly, the first person she came to talk to about the sex tape was Wendy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I can. I remember when Kim used to be... A, on the front of King magazine. I remember going to King's, uh, going to Wendy's, I'm not Wendy, going to Kim's, God dang, can you imagine Wendy was on the front of King magazine? I, I, I remember going to Kim's <laughs> Almost King magazine. Her foot would look just like Andrews. Uh -huh. Her foot would be just like Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't know nothing. But I remember going to Kim's, uh, you know, uh, King magazine release cover party. So she came up because of black people. Media Takeout used to be the one posting Kim all the time. Way before the TMZs and all of right. that shit like that. So, you know, she came up with the sisters. And her and her sisters started trying to look like sisters. Exactly. And the rest is history. So would you say that you're proud of that white woman? She's not white, though. She's what? Armenian. I don't know what they are, dude. Me neither. Yeah. That's Armenian. <laughs> That don't what work. What is that? <laughs> That's I was doing a callback. That's ammonia. I was doing a callback from earlier in the show. Y'all. That's amore. That's mm. Armenian. Right, that don't work. <laughs> All right, I'm about, job, I'm about to go home. I'm a rapper. It's time to rap. Yeah. I'm about to go home, baby. Okay. <laughs> Hate when niggas try to play me, son. <laughs> 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 Yo, the security got fired Good. for watching the Asian woman. Get Good. attacked outside of the business. What do you think of that, guys? Good. I'm not paid to protect the outside. Respect. But <sighs> respect. You still a, still a fucking clown. Here's the thing. You could be ass. a clown of a human being. You could be a uh -huh. piece of shit of a human being. You're supposed to go out there and you're supposed to do something as a human being. But as an employee, yes. I don't know if it's your job to protect the streets of New York. That's what the police's job is. I so hear that. You're going right to hold the lady, though. though. Where's I, your morals They closed the door at? on her. Say what? They closed the door, though. Like they Oh, they used like... the building? Yes. Oh, I the, didn't know the, they used the building. Their self, they used the building to shield their self from that Chinese lady. That's a problem. Huge problem. Oh, okay. They, I, they need so, to get their ass whooped. I didn't see the whole video. I didn't see the whole video then. I just literally saw a picture of it. But um, I didn't know that they were using the building in some way. If you you if you're on the property, I guess my my feeling they is this is like door. you can you can say someone didn't do their job if they didn't do their job. But if there's a fight outside of a building and you don't go stop the fight, that's not what you're getting paid for. You're getting paid for to protect the building. Why does it matter if you're getting paid or not though? Because yeah, we're firing. Thing. We're saying that somebody didn't do their job. And if your job isn't to do that thing, then you can't say they didn't do their job. I know this is not a popular I thing. Saying. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, Respect. but like, I, I agree. That. But the fact that they were using the building in some way, or they're hiding in the building, whatever the fuck it is, like, yeah, I'm sorry, you're out of here. But like, yeah, I think, um, I mean, for me, right, I agree I with everything video. that you're I saying. I literally just saw a picture. Yeah, I don't know what the protocol is for whatever reason. The building owner said he got rid of them because they didn't follow protocol. I don't know what the protocol is, but 
If I was the owner of that building, I wouldn't want them working for me. And no, I'll tell you why, because they just showed poor character. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you watch this man beat up on this 66-year-old woman, I can't have you. What the fuck? You, 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 what, what, what could you secure? Yeah. If, 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 if your security is based on Protection. who's paying you or whatever, yeah. then you ain't, you ain't really about this life. Like, yeah. the, the, as a human being, to sit there and watch, you can't even open the door and say, yo, chill? Nothing? Nothing? Whistle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, now nah, you just close Disgusting. the door. You don't show no remorse and no empathy after the fact. Nah, it's like, nah, man. As yo, a manager, somebody, I got I to gotta, I gotta dead you. Yeah, if somebody told me that, yo, your sister got slapped by this guy and anybody that was there who didn't even help my sister, yeah. I'm fucking them up. Yeah, completely. It's disgusting. Now, now, That's not cool. Now, hold on. Yeah. Let's, okay. let's look. Let's unpack this. Okay. If you're walking down the streets of New York and you, uh, and you see a man just randomly slap a woman, you might be like, bro, what's up, bro? I don't know if you intervene. It's New York is a... I, okay. So say we walk in down. This, this situation is different because it's a guy that's... And this woman is old. You that's know what I'm saying? saying? If we walk down the street and seeing that right there... That's different. I'm getting You got to intervene. Anytime I, I, I see a couple arguing in New York, it's not couple, like yeah, it's physical, different. but like arguing in New York, I always say the same shit. I go, yo. I go, yo. Someone you just called to. the cops. I say, so yeah, boom, that's so good. <laughs> so at, least, yeah. Yeah. at least, like, yo, chill, bro, if I call the cops. No, I, I, no, no, I, I say, no, don't just say you the doing it because he's going he gonna to try to fight you. You don't say that. Exactly. You say, yo, some, I was over there by some dude. I heard him over there talking about they're going to call the cops. Yeah. I need to chill out and walk away. I agree. That's a good, that's a great diffuser. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them over there called the cops. That's, so that's a great diffuser because, I mean, you just don't know. If you say I call the cops, so you're like, yeah, let me fuck you up before. before Word. Yeah. Like if somebody called the radio station this morning, they was like, yo, I think that if you are walking and you see a fight and you pull out your phone to record it and you don't intervene, then, you know, you should go to jail. Hell no. No, nah. it's easy to say that, bro. You don't know how big that motherfucker is or how crazy he is yeah. or if he got STDs. <laughs> <laughs> or anything yeah. or anything and by the way I'm not even just talking about if a man hits a, if in that situation there was absolutely no reason for somebody not to intervene you just gotta take whatever percent. comes with Please, it whatever. but if I saw two guys fighting nah. I'd be like damn bro I take the my only phone way I'm stepping in <laughs> is I'm saying who do more push-ups who did more push-ups lately yeah. the only way you intervene <laughs> is if it looks like one person has a huge advantage on the other yeah you know what I mean? If it's like a guy beating on a girl or if it's like yes. a guy beating on a kid beating or on some a kid, shit like that. An old yeah. woman. Or even when I see another guy getting stumped out, stumped out, I'd be like, nah, bro, don't kill him. Like, stop. Like, yeah, don't yeah, kill him. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. yo, 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 don't kill yeah, him, bro. Easy. Don't do him dirty. Nah, you already got He's already done. It's yeah. Over. Yeah. Well, God bless him. I don't know the building's protocol, but... You know, they uh, they, they no longer work dudes. there. All right, well, whatever. If that lady got sons or grandsons, go fuck them guys up who closed the door on her ass, man. They need to get close something. Close the door on her ass? They closed the door on her. Oh, yeah, yeah, they definitely did. That was, that's what I'm saying. They showed no remorse or no empathy, yo. Mm. It's just like, I don't want you working for me. You got poor character. Nah, I think literally. All right, Taylor, let's do some asking idiots. And, uh... You know, I want to mention um, the Rihanna in New York City. Rihanna attended a march in New York City on Sunday. Oh, for stop Asian hate. Oh, uh, it was cool. interesting. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm I, I, I'm I'm glad that she was out there. Um, Respect. I did I did ask myself. I said, I wonder if Rihanna's ever been to a Black Lives Matter protest or Ooh. a women's march protest. I don't I don't know. I mean, I just I'm not. I just asked. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. That's nah, I just, I just I don't know. I, I would I would love to know what um. I mean, I'd love to know what her motivation is. That's all. I mean, she's always vocal. Rihanna's always vocal. She's always vocal via social media and, you know, when she accepts awards and stuff. So I just want to know what her motivation was for actually going out to, 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 the, to the protest. You know what I mean? Because, you know, when you're somebody like Rihanna, you can't just up and show up at these protests. Yeah, you, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you cause a riot. Like, if people really, like, oh, shit, that's Rihanna? Yeah, you but know? now with the mask and some glasses and shit, it's way easier exactly. to move around. So that's what I wonder. I wonder if it was because of that. Like I just wonder what the what the motivation was. That's all. And mm -hmm. I, and, I, and I I never thought about it before. But I was like, damn, is Rihanna? Is this something that she does? Maybe she's been to protests prior and we didn't know. Maybe she was in there, you know, there in disguise. I I don't know. Most likely had to be. But yeah, I see what you're saying. I respect it though. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm not mad at it at all. I thought it was cool. Why? You don't like it, Taylor? <laughs> You made me think about that, too. I didn't think of it until you said that. Like, has she been at? Because Kevin uh, Lamar definitely been. 
Who was Kevin, was Kevin Lamar? Kendrick Lamar, sorry. I was reading something. Kendrick Lamar. Oh, Kendrick Lamar. Well, yeah, it's just a question. I mean, I don't, I'm just I'm just asking. It wasn't no, it's no, it's no judgment. Of, it's no judgment involved with that question at all. I was just asking. And I'm gonna tell y'all something else. We had a discussion here on Brilliant Idiots a couple weeks ago that for whatever reason seemed to go viral. And um, it was about Rihanna and Beyonce. Mm. I I I didn't say Rihanna would wash Beyonce. Oh, yeah, I, I just said if it's a versus 20 songs, 20 songs, I think Rihanna might win, right? Oh. But then I had to rethink it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. My wife made me rethink it. And I'll tell you why. Because Rihanna got 14 number one records, right? What, 14, I think she got the fourth most number ones of all time. But Beyonce has like really big cultural records. You know what I'm saying? But then, and Rihanna got cultural records too, but Beyonce got a lot more records that are just like in the culture are just huge. Yeah, to the left, to the to left. To the left, to the left, all my single ladies. Like, you know, you like to put a ring on it. Is that the same song? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. All my single ladies. All yeah. my single. If you like it, that's put the same song. Yes. It. No, it's not. Okay. Put okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, two left is another song. Put I a left on it. Yo. <laughs> love on that's top. Listen. Listen to Here's the thing though. Uh huh. <laughs> Whose music is celebrated by both genders more? Exactly. It's more so Rihanna. I think. No, nah, Beyonce I don't know about queen. that, bro. I think yeah, Rihanna's Beyonce. music, dudes vibe to more. And I think Beyonce's music is girls that vibe to more. Like, I'm never chilling going, yeah, put on that Beyonce. I want to hear about how yeah. I'm a piece of shit as a man. Yo, that's crazy oh, when you said that. You know what's crazy right? when you said that? When you said both genders, I immediately thought. Racist. Who has the gay fan base and who has the women fan That's base? Both thought, of them are equal with that. No, black. gays, gays probably rock with Beyonce. Beyonce, because they like the dress. Yeah, because they like to look like her, like the drag, like drag queen, dress like Beyonce. That's a fact. Performance aspect, like gays like a performance. You know, both genders. I mean, I don't. I, like, I'm a Beyonce guy. I'm a Pink and Smith Winfrey Nose Carter, but I, Rihanna got some joints that slap. Like I love you. Look so dumb right now. <laughs> Standing yeah. outside my house. Like, I love that record. Like that. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Like I said, Rihanna got 14 number ones. So when you say Rihanna versus Beyonce, 20 songs, it's like, yo, it's hard to beat 14 number ones. But mm. Beyonce got some cultural joints. That's why, I, you know, I stand on the fact that that would be a pay-per-view that I would pay for. Right. But just for the record, because the headline was Charlemagne says Rihanna would beat Beyonce. I did say that. But I didn't say it with much confidence, guys. Okay? I was just, <laughs> I, you know what I mean? We were spitballing some shit. I even said during the the, the, the rant, I was like, wait a minute. I, I might be lying here. But, you know, either way, it'd be a great a great versus. Who would you put with Missy? Missy? Busta go Rhymes. To... Really? Yeah. Missy versus Busta <laughs> Rhymes. They could do that? They could do it? That would be woman? Why dope. would you do that? Why not? Too? Because then you could do the videos and the music. That's you could do a versus okay. with Missy's videos versus well, I, Busta's I thought, videos. I thought it had to be two girls and two guys. I didn't know you could mix it up. Nah, you can mix it up. You can definitely mix you it up. You want to put her with another producer? Like Pharrell or something like that? Missy's an artist too, though. I know. Yes, so is Pharrell too. Nah, Missy and Busta would be the perfect versus matchup. That's what needs to happen. Missy and Busta rhymes. Videos and songs, you That'd would be kill. be the first girl and guy, right? Hmm? No, that be the that's first not. Girl and guy? No, John Legend and Alicia Keys. Oh, yeah. John oh, Legend okay. versus Alicia Keys. I see that. All right. All right, let's do some Asking Idiots, guys. What do we got, Taylor Gang? Um, okay. First one is, if you had to give up brushing your teeth or wiping your butt, which one would you give up? Wiping my butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can hide that. You can hide that. No, you, you just take a shower. Yep, and take a shower. Okay. Ugh, that's no brainer. <laughs> Shout out to DMX, man. Yeah. Salute uh, to yeah. DMX. Right after that? You're gonna I'm going to tell you why, man. Because, I mean, I, I'm sending healing energy to DMX. Please. DMX is so motherfucking necessary. Yes, he is. DMX, every time I'm around DMX, I see, hear, and feel God. Yes. I can't explain it to no, you. Really if you. If you know what anointing feel like, then you know it with DMX. Mm. You connect it, you'll feel it around him, for sure. Reason I'm saying shout out to DMX right now after that story, <laughs> I saw DMX do the most gangster shit one time. <laughs> I think we were shooting Sucker Free. And we was like, if you're in New York, you know how, you 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 know the Lower East Side. Of course, you know where the Lower East Side at, right? Shows. Yeah, yeah I grew and you up know how there. like the Lower East Side look. It looked kind of dirty in certain places. You know what I mean? Of course. But it'd be like 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 a lot of little thrift shops and antique shops and stuff like that. And we was down there shooting, man, and, and it was Envy and 
DMX and Envy was like, um, DMX was, he was like, I need to go to, the, what's the bathroom? What's the bathroom? Where the bathroom at? Where the bathroom at, dog? Where the bathroom? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, Envy was like, oh, it, it, it's over there. And he was like, yeah, I guess he told the dude at the counter, like, I gotta take a shit with the bathroom. Uh-huh. And the dude was like, well, the bathroom right there, but you don't have no tissue. Next was like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I was oh, like, just pee. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. it's probably, it's, he probably just had to pee. He said he had the shit. Oh, yeah. He oh, told the dude shit. he had the shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some people have napkins in their he pocket. Went to the, um, I mean, he went to jail, so. And nah, but I, just, I think, think, think his I'm saying there's not some type of like. They got they toilet t- paper in jail, Taylor. They got tissue in jail. T- 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 Taylor's crazy. Definitely got tissue in jail. <laughs> and I do remember. <laughs> play cards for tissue, man. <laughs> and I think he did exactly. say something like that. He was like, yo, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm going to go home and take a shower right after this. That's something. Yeah, he said something to that effect. So that's why it made me think of that. Like, shout out to DMX, though, man. That shit is so sad, bro. Like, we, I, like, yo, is there a more. And Andrew, you can answer this. Is there a, because you're from here, mm-hmm. is there a more quintessential New Yorker than DMX? Is there a person that makes you think of New York more? Is there a person more New York than DM fucking X? I'll be honest with you, bro. I don't think of DMX as a New Yorker. Really? I think is of DMX as like DMX. Like, you know how Mike Tyson yeah. Is, right. a new, is from Brooklyn, but from he's York not from either. Brooklyn to me. Mike Tyson is from his own planet. Like, X yeah. is from his own Damn. planet. Like, they're both exactly bigger than both the city and the state. I never knew he was even from New York. I, I know exactly what you're saying, Shows. You because know? you've, I've never in my life met a human like DMX. Yeah. Ever. Mm. From the way, because that's not an act. Yeah, From the real. way he talks yeah. to the way he carries himself. And you know the illest part about DMX, man? The illest part about DMX is DMX doesn't have to do anything but show up as DMX. Yeah. A lot of us got to show up. Put an act on. We got to put it, we, we put it out, like people, people, uh, we, we show up uh, for what we do, right? Mm. Like, oh, that's such and such. He plays basketball. Oh, that's such and such. He mm. does radio. You know what I'm saying? Or some people show up based off what they have. Like, oh, he got money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got jewelry on, that's this and that. DMX. X don't do nothing but show up as DMX every fucking time. Love it. And has been doing that since day one. That shit is admirable, mm. bro. Yes. Like, yeah, that's why even now, nobody ever looks at DMX and be like, oh, that nigga broke. <laughs> you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah. Like, uh, oh, like, nobody looks at DMX like, oh, he fell off. Nigga, I'll nope. feed that nigga. Everybody want to feed him. You, yes. you love him because he's him. Yeah. Right he don't got to do nothing. We don't even care if DMX raps. Like, yo, just come kick it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know talk. what I'm saying? Like, Pray for me, nigga. I remember one one Breakfast Club interview. DMX literally just sat around. Yo, I had to babysit him after. No, I'm talking about for hours. <laughs> I had to babysit him after. Like he was, he took he took a marker and wrote graffiti all like he did graffiti all on the walls. He went downstairs, ate hot dogs, threw up, threw up on the sidewalk. <laughs> Cause we was we was in there drinking Hennessy, <laughs> threw up on the sidewalk and kept talking. Was in the street talking to people like, "Yo, what's up?" I think it was Angela is my, like, "Yo, Yee, what's up, Yee? Yo, Yee, come on, y'all, let's go out." Like, like, I've never, I've never seen a more free human. Wow. Wow. I mean, yeah. I, I've never, I've never in my life seen a more free human. I've there, you will never meet a person like DMX. They don't make those. Can I say something though? Because yes. when I, he went back upstairs, I guess after he threw up, whatever, mm-hmm. and I had to get dropped from him. And he was talking about some shit that got, got him bothered, but then you saw, he starts crying and then he like gets real gangster again. Like, you always say he's always battling with demons. Like, and you can see that though. Yeah, oh, but wow. I love it because he battles his demons out loud. Yes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, DMX battles all his traumas out loud. DMX has never put on a front for us, never, ever, mm. and, and, and he let us know who helped him out. That's exactly. right. It's always glory to God, no matter mm. what he's going through. The guy, I'm telling you, man. If like, yo, we can't. Like, I mean, listen, life, life is life, and you know, you you wish for the best, and you send healing energy to people. But I tell you one thing: if God forbid, you know, he transitions, that that's how you want to live life. That mm. man has lived a full. Life, like that is the ups, the downs, the good, the bad, the rights, the wrongs, the the traumas. Like he's he's dead. I, I can't think of nobody who's bad their soul like that, yo. Yeah. I'm being honest with you. Yeah. I've never met a person like DMX ever. I've never met a person who always shows up as their true, authentic self. Some people will kill themselves 
when they don't sell records like they used to. Yeah. Or when their money gets low. They don't even feel like themselves no more. Mm. You'll never get that from X. X is X. Mm. Earl Simmons is Earl Simmons. He, in all his good, all his bad, all his ugly. Love that guy, man. Love him. Yeah, man. What else? Prayers Jeff? up for was, X, man. That's, prayers yeah. up for X, for real. Gotta send X healing energy. What 100%. else we got, Taylor Gang? Um, after that. Okay. Uh, Sean or C-U-N, I don't know, underscore 22. Would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great-great-grandchildren? Ooh. Do people really give a fuck about great-great-grandchildren? <laughs> yeah. I, I know this sounds weird. Honestly, like I don't care look. as much to see my great-grandchildren as I do to see the technology and shit in the future. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like y'all, do, 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 do you know your great-great-grandmama name? Uh, I'm grandma. Do you know your great great grandmama name, Shos? I don't even know my grandma's name. <laughs> man, oh shut my up, God. man. I swear Come to God. On, man. I never Neither met my one grandma. I never met her. Aww. So I don't know her on name. I don't know my grandparents' names. Any of them. I never met them. I don't know their names. Damn, you oh. you know what? I'm sitting there I'm sitting there tripping. I, I don't know my grand I don't know my my father I don't know my mom's father's name. I know my grandma, because that's big mama. Yeah, I my, yeah, I grandma. And I know my dad's mom and dad. That's yeah, cheating, yeah. big mama. Yeah, yeah. I, I call say my grandma. Great grandma. We call her. Great you know your great great grandmama? Your yeah, great great grandma. Yeah, they call her Grandma Birdie. I don't even know which one that is. So it's your grandma. <laughs> oh, my mom's side. Oh, my mom's side. And then it's great. Then it's somebody. So it's your. So it's your mom's mom's mom. Yes, that's great grandma. Yeah. No. Nope. Yes, oh, you're right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. grandma's your mom's mom. Mm -hmm. Then great great grandma, and then great great great. Yeah. 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 The moral of the story is, <laughs> I'd rather see if cars are flying and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. But no, it would be cool to see if they kept kept tradition alive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, let's see how far they took the name. Yes. You sure. know what I mean? Based yeah. off what we sparked here. You're um, probably not gonna be able to smash just humans no more. People probably gonna be smashing cars and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> smashing couches. And listen, great great grandmas, are, those are our ancestors. Those are the people that's looking out for us. Those are the spirits that are around us. When you run into these mediums and they see your guides, that's who they're seeing. So thank you for looking out for us. Respect. I, yeah, I, you know what? I, I, yes, I'll, yeah. I'll be here for my great great grandkids in spirit. Yeah, that'd be kind of fire. All right, oh, Taylor, yeah. give us one more. Um, I saw a good one. Go, go, go. Scroll up some more. Scroll up right there. Right. Solo Illmatic. This one? Yes. Okay. Um, so Lil Malik Elmatic wants to know if there's a debate between Candace Owens and Dr. Umar Johnson, who is winning? Umar. Umar nah, Candace probably got it, man. Candace is a beast. Yeah, Candace is, is a I beast out there. I don't, I don't think he's going to give it up. I don't think he'll give it up. I'll tell you who's winning. The motherfucking internet. The, yeah, the if viewer. Candace Owens <laughs> yeah. and Dr. Umar John, I can't think of any more of a dream matchup. I Let's mean, Alomina and Donnell Rollins was the matchup I didn't know I needed. But if there's a dream matchup, that's a versus. Candace that's a Owens one. versus Do Dr. Umar Johnson is a, is a versus, bro. That's, dope. We that's a versus. It. We might yeah. need that. Dr. One. Umar just gonna get all. He's and, gonna get hype and intense. Let's do he it. That's what we up. like. Call Kill Tony and see if we can set up Dr. Umar Johnson <laughs> versus, that would be fire, versus Candace bro. Owens. Can we do that on the Kill Tony okay. show? We're gonna we do it. We're gonna make it happen. Let me call up uh, call up Tony and see if we can organize it. Candace Owens or your girl. Um, Blonde hair. Tommy Lara. No, that's no fun. Nah. Yeah, no. Come on. Nah. Come on, Taylor. Now you, you now you talking about that. You they go. agree. Now you disrespecting go. Candace. Candace need to get at you for that, Joe. Yeah, get her. Candace need to get at you. You disrespecting Candace. Candace is a heavyweight champ. Don't do that yeah, to Candace. That's a whole life. Yeah. You're putting Candace on an undercard for what? Nah, yeah. You gotta you gotta Practice. come correct. She's sparring. She wanna spar with her. Okay. Disrespectful, Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace. Peace.